Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Toshiba Thrive. This is Toshiba's first entry into the Android tablet market. And as you can tell from the box, whoa. As you can tell from the box, you know, they're, they're going after it. It comes in three models, eight gigabyte, 16 gigabyte, and 32. This is the 16 gigabyte right in the middle. And let's run through some quick things. Like all Honeycomb tablets so far, NVIDIA Tecra 2 processor, you know, dual core, runs all the great games like Samurai, uh, Riptide, you know, you know them by now. Has six color options. Uh, there's only five pictured right here. You've got like this pinkish purple, lime green for Android, a silver, a light blue, a navy blue. There's also, I think, a black one. Uh, that's what she, uh, let me see what else. Uh, it comes with an optional multi-dock for HDMI. That's not included in the box that they sent me. But there's a couple of quick things we can run through. with. Android 3.1 Honeycomb. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna update to 3.2 later on once they have more time. 10.1 uh, inch multi-touch multi LED screen. It has a 16 by nine aspect ratio, so when you're watching movies, it's not gonna be like the stretched in like it is when you watch on a TV that tries to convert it to four by three, so you should be good there. Uh, we were mentioning NVIDIA Tecra 2. Uh, two megapixel camera, so you know when you're video chat and you're gonna get decent quality five megapixel rear camera We're gonna test it out later gyroscope sensor That's for like when you're playing all those games where you got to move around like this You want the sensors to be very accurate. It has that in there So that's good gonna be good to go and it's got ports out the yin-yang My big complaint with the Galaxy Tab was it only had one port Well, this one goes into overdrive and we're gonna go through that right now I wanna open you up and make sweet love to you, Toshiba Thrive. Okay, uh, in case you're an idiot like me, they pretty much tell you every single port. And actually, this is a good thing because you're gonna need to know this. They've got ports everywhere. You got HDMI port over here, mini USB, USB down here, your headphone and your mic, they go over here, AC power adapter, stereo speaker, stereo speaker. So you've got audio coming from both sides on the bottom. You know, it's an interesting choice. Uh, the Galaxy Tab 10.1, they had their audio speakers up here, but you know, we'll see how that works out. You got the back cover lock because the color is removable. So if you want to load the lime green uh, back cover one day and then switch to the baby blue another day, you just detach it right here. Uh, this little silver thing here, that's where the camera is housed, the front facing camera. And then you got your power button, volume button, and you got your screen resolution lock, rotation lock. Now that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, a lot of times when you're reading, you might want to keep it in portrait. But if you like lean over when you're in your bed or something, it'll switch in the landscape and you don't want that to happen. Press this button and it'll stay in landscape or portrait, whichever one you prefer. Now, as far as what's in the box, you got the usual, your manual, you got uh, your power cords, and you have a separate cord to connect to uh, your computer. Uh, I don't know if it charges while plugged in. I'm gonna test that out later on and I'll put a little annotation. But you know, that's the usual stuff. Let's see uh, the hardware a little more. Oh shit, my bad y'all. Uh, excuse the language if you've got kids nearby. Uh, this is the screen like I said. It's 10 by, uh, the 16 by 10 ratio. And on the back, these are the removable panels that I was talking about. Uh, it's hard but not solid, if that makes sense. What I mean by that is the material itself feels kind of like uh, sturdy, like it's not gonna get scratched up too much. But as far as dropping it, I don't think you wanna consider this to be like a protective case or anything. So you know, if you're like this all the time and you end up dropping it a lot, that might not be the, the, the safest way. I don't want you to get a false sense of security. Uh, we, we looked at the ports already. Uh, let's, how about we take a look at the software now?